humble, I borrowed your shirt. Hey! What up everyone, it's a girl, Superwoman! And before I start this video, let me just tell you that I love people. I love making friends, I love meeting new faces, I love being social, etc, etc. But, 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 there are some instances in which I don't like to talk to people. And in my brain, these situations are like common sense, but apparently common sense ain't so common these days. In fact, common sense is like a rare species, it's like a teenage girl who doesn't twerk. It's almost extinct. Make way for Torkasaurus. <laughs> so here are eight situations in which people should shut up. Unless I decide to cut some out because the video is too long, in which case it'll be however many I fit in. <laughs> Number one. Is me wearing headphones the international sign for please interrupt my favorite song and talk to me? Like I actually don't get it. Like you see me wearing headphones, you know I can't hear you, but you choose to start a conversation. As far as I'm concerned, wearing headphones is like wearing a do not disturb sign. You ain't respecting the sign, dog. And you can't even play like you don't see my headphones because these days headphones be looking like earmuffs. I'm here chilling in my Beats by Dre just like, who that, who that, ah ah ah, did you watch it? Who that, who that, ah ah ah, did you watch And while I'm doing that, you's all like, Like, I'm sorry, I don't remember agreeing to play a game of charades with you, and if we's gonna play, it's my turn. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, and the best is, when you take your headphones out, reply, clearly express that you're annoyed, put them back in, and then the person talks again. Is this just me? Like, in my opinion, the only person that is allowed to interrupt my headphone listening is a pilot on a plane telling me about turbulence. Are you a pilot? Are you turbulence? Are you the safety demonstration? No? Then shut your face! Cha, don't make me give you beats by Lil. Number two. Now, I mentioned this in my last video, but I feel so strongly about it that I feel the need to reiterate. Do not talk to me while I'm getting a massage. And this goes for a friend that may be getting a massage beside me or my masseuse. Because I'm here trying to forget about my stress and life for the next 60 minutes. And you all up here like, oh, yeah, so what do you do for a living? Are you done school? Yeah, how was your day? Like dog, I spent $40,000 on a psychology degree, I make YouTube videos for a living, and I got my period today at a white party. Please ask me more questions. No, please continue. Just take a bottle of stress and just rub it into my shoulders. In fact, take this muscle and take this muscle and just tie them together like some shoelaces because I need more knots. In fact, let's talk about the recession. Let's talk about credit card fraud. Let's talk about the fact that my credit card bill has more digits than my cell phone number. Or you could shut up and I could proceed to pretend like I'm on a beach and you're Trey Songs, and I'm just over here like, say ya, say ya. Don't ruin this for me. Number three, I don't know what it is, and I feel like a terrible person for saying this, but I cannot stand when my cab driver insists on talking to me for the entire ride. Because I'm in the backseat texting, taking some selfies, listening to some music, shutting my eyes, and you all in the front seat trying to interview me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I get it, it's very sweet, you're asking about me, asking about my day, asking where I'm headed, but the reality of the situation is, I'm probably headed to a party, in which case I'm gonna be forced to be social and meet new people, and I only have a limited number of Fs in my care cup, and if I use all my social juices in this cab with you, I'm gonna get to that party and slap every stranger that approaches me. Don't empty my cup, dog. So it's for the greater good if you don't talk to me, and I promise I'll give you a good tip if you just shut up. Number four. Yo, you know when the perfect time to talk to me is? When you have seven drills in my mouth while filling my cavities. It boggles my mind that dentists have such impressive degrees but totally lack social skills in this situation. Like you are literally sucking the saliva out of my mouth. You are drilling my gums, okay? My lips are all shriveled up like some prunes and I can see the blood in the little tubey thing leaving my mouth. I'm sitting up in here looking like a damn construction site and you's up in here like, so Lily, what grade are you in now? How's school going? You still doing that YouTube thing? And I'm just lying there like, Like how many things you want me to do right now? You know, why don't you just put a clarinet? 
clarinet in my mouth as well. I'll play you a song while you whiten my teeth. Give me some balloons, I'll blow them up. We'll have a party. Like, I don't know if you're trying to distract me from the pain by having a conversation with me, but for someone who has a cupboard full of drugs over there, you picking the wrong method. Just shut up, inject me with something, and let me be. Number five. So let me get this straight, right? I'm gonna sit here for 10 hours, eat crappy food, share a washroom with 200 people, and you want me to be social on this plane? And uh -uh. I am sorry, but people who talk to me on airplanes, I ain't about that. I am not trying to be social for this many hours because if you're gonna talk to me for this entire 14 hour flight, please tell me. Just tell me so I can jump out the window into the Pacific Ocean and just swim the rest of the damn way. Because can I be real with you? I would rather be on a small boat with a tiger and rename myself to Pi than be obligated to talk to you. Because let me tell you what I wanna be doing. I wanna put my headphones in, and as we've learned from situation number one, that's an indication not to talk to me. I wanna watch some comedy shows, eat as many free peanuts as possible, and pretend like you ain't even there hogging up the armrest and doing your word search. In fact, don't even do the word search because you know I'm gonna be looking over and get hella frustrated because you can't find that word. And that already is too much communication because I'm so confused as to why you can't find words on the paper but there's so many words in your damn mouth when you're trying to talk to me. Like, I see how you not see that word in print. Give me your highlighter. <laughs> Stressing me, dog. Number six. So we watching this movie, right? We watching this movie. You already know where I'm going. We watching this movie, and my annoying friend feels the need to discuss everything happening in the movie. And let me just make one thing very clear, okay? I am not the director. I'm not in the movie, and if you're confused about something happening on the screen, I'm watching the same screen, and I ain't got no damn script. Wait, is this the same guy in the beginning? Oh my god, that totally happened to me once, let me tell you all about it. Wait, how come she didn't do that instead? Okay, I don't get it. Why don't they just take turns in the ocean so they don't both die? Like, my bad, you're holding the popcorn. Let me just reflect on the time I was on the movie set and also on the Titanic. In fact, no, let me step into the movie, okay, and address all your mother effing concerns. Like, bro, this is not a choose your own adventure. Just accept what is happening. Cause bro, I'ma smack you. And you are gonna lose your popcorn sharing privileges with me. And you know my popcorn be layered with butter and tasting delicious. Number seven. So do you ever have like a crap load of work to do and so you invite over some people to have like a work session but you actually need to get a lot of work done but your one friend keeps talking every two seconds? Because I'm very clearly studying and taking notes. I'm trying to pass tomorrow's test. So unless you Pythagorean and you made the theorem, zip it. Like dude, why are you trying to kill me? You know my parents are Indian. I ain't trying to get no A- minus and get grounded. Boy, so don't make me whoop you in your hypotenuse. Number eight. Now this one applies to everyone who has reached puberty. It should, and if it doesn't, go to your room. But everyone who's reached puberty and has ever been in that situation where you're so attracted to someone, you know what I mean? The chemistry is there, you're both standing there, you wanna come closer together, you wanna kiss, you want this to be a sexy, romantic setting until the person decides this is the perfect time to discuss emotions and feelings. On behalf of me and my genitalia, shut the F up. Because I want this to be like a Rihanna song. Just like, where have you been all my life? And you are turning it into a One Direction song. Just like, the story of my life. I do not care. Out of all the things your lips should be doing, talking is not one of them. Call me insensitive, but feelings are for greeting cards, not for makeout sessions. If discussions happen during makeout sessions, half of you wouldn't be born. And I hope you enjoyed that video. If you can relate to any of the eight situations, click the links in the description to share it on Facebook and on Twitter. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and check out my last video right there called Awkward Massage, where things get really awkward. You can check out my daily vlogs right there on my second channel. Make sure you subscribe there because I make new videos every single day over there. And on the far end over there is the newest episode of The Tube's Hottest, where you can check out the blindfolded makeup challenge. Cheezer alert, I win. <laughs> make sure you also click subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday, one love superwoman that is a wrap and zoop.